Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kevin the Skull Anderson. What is up? Or actually, what's down, really, because the economy's tanking, ladies and gentlemen. It's tanking. I'll tell you one thing, though. If I have something to say about it, you're damn right I'm going to speak up. And boy, do I have a lot to say about it. Let me tell you people something. To all you fucking morons that voted for this senile old 78-year-old who's 47 years in Washington, never did a goddamn thing for anybody, you really are a special kind of stupid. You know that? It's like you people deliberately play stupid even though you're really smart. And you know the sad part about that is, the same people that voted for Joe Biden are going to be responsible for a Harris presidency. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Kamala Harris is going to be the 47th president of the United States if Joe Biden doesn't survive his term. Or terms, I should say, because it's probably likely that it will rig the 24 election too. Although, I can't really say for sure, because it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't, it's not going to happen for another three years, but here's the thing, right? It's like I said in the last episode of Spot the Liberal. America is dead. There's no bringing it back now. It's gone. Sadly, the American dream is a lie. It's an urban legend, a myth. If you people are too sleepy or drowsy or groggy to not see that, then there's something wrong with you. Let me tell you people something, all right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. America is dead because we the people killed this nation because we elected a bunch of morons who know nothing about the Constitution, who claim to know something about the Constitution but don't, who sold us down the river for jack shit on the dime. Yes, that's right. We are that dumb a nation. We are that stupid. Yeah. And you know what the sad part is? The saddest part isn't the fact that we elected these idiots. The saddest part is that we allowed this to happen on our watch. It is so laughable. It is so laughable. The road far less traveled has been taken. The foundations to our existence forsaken. Creation of the transhuman degeneration and the mercy killing of a senseless nation. Where did we lose our way? What did or didn't I say? Is this the beginning of the end? Near? Or is the end of the beginning here? Freedom is something we don't deserve. We know not how to use it or observe. Are we going the way of the dodo? Are we spinning up and down like a yo-yo? Technocracy ruined the damn land. Full of flaws we'll never understand. Democracy has been stripped of its pride. Democracy is dead. It's been tossed aside. Raped and pillaged the way of the free. Shocked and collared the brides to be. Failure of untold levels never seen before. A human race self-destructs forevermore. Broken promises, double standards, check. Label influence, cabal influence, mob rules, train wreck. 
America the beautiful is no longer the queen. America the victim of a cruel fate unseen. And I know that I probably messed up a couple of words. Who doesn't mess up a couple of words in a poem that they created themselves, right? Because this is, this is a poem that I made out of frustration. But ladies and gentlemen, we're living in godless times. If you don't see that, you are stupid, you are blind, you are moronic. You need to get your head checked if you do not see this. I'm telling you, it's the truth. It is. It's really the truth. You got you to gotta look at it that way. It, I'm serious. I'm not even kidding anymore. This is, this is a fact proven over God knows how long, right? And yet, we as a nation, in our ignorance, willingly elect a bunch of jackasses and sellouts and failures who think that socialism is okay in a world where every single nation that has tried socialism has fallen victim to its scheme. Here's the thing. Okay? I don't care about America anymore. I don't care about this American dream. I don't care about that. That's a lie. The American dream has always been a lie. It has always been nothing more than an urban legend. And quite frankly, it's dead. The American dream is dead. There's no bringing it back. We know it. You know it. Everybody knows it. It's a fact proven over time. And let me tell you something. I might not be the sharpest tool in the shed. I might not be the brightest bulb in the whole house. But I can tell you one thing, I know shit. When I see shit, I say shit. And when I say shit, watch out world, everything's going to get turned right up its head, man. And I'm going to tell you right now, I have been working on a shockumentary called Freedom No More. And it explains in great detail why humanity is fucked. It's fucked, people. Humanity is fucked. And to all you millions and millions of Americans who are as frustrated and pissed off as I am, to all you millions and millions of frustrated motherfuckers. This is for you. Because you deserve to have a voice and damn it. If I can't be that voice, I don't know who should be. Here's the thing. Okay. We live in a nation that's run by fucking idiots. We live in a nation that is run by retards. We live in a nation that's run by a bunch of monkeys, by a bunch of clowns, by a bunch of fools and buffoons, who for five years shadow over a man who did the best job of any president in American history... And who, despite opposition from every single solitary corner, was able to get us out of the Paris Accord, was able to get us out of the Iran nuclear deal. Biden erased all that because he's a fucking moron. And he's got dementia. But you guys already know that. The deranged left, according to one of my friends, Paramount99 on DeviantArt, the deranged left will have made millions inventing and imagining this whole sorry state of affairs through their radical, deluded lawyers and so-and-so, all at the cost to the common taxpayer. The global cost of denial of Brexit and Trump from 2016 and the chaos and Looney Tunes that the fuckery 
and idiots have created to try and destroy democracy should be mirrored back at them after they go to trail for an ever insurmountable amount of treasury and treason. It will come eventually. It's going to happen, people. And I know there's a lot of you saying that it's going to happen on March 4th, that Donald Trump is going to rightfully take his place back on the throne and lead us into prosperity yet again. The sad part is, it's not going to happen for another three and a half years because we've got a dumb fuck in Joe Biden and some stupid monkey named Kamala Harris who think that socialism is going to work in this nation when it's been proven to fail time and again in every single nation that it's ever been tried in, including this one, including this one. And it was tried in this nation for eight years with Barack Obama and Joe Biden at the helm, and it produced nothing. It produced nothing. Nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a time where it is socially acceptable to be dumb. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not okay. I'm here to tell you that's bullshit. All right? America is no longer the beautiful. America is now... A cruel fate unseen. Okay? America is freaking dead. It's not coming back unless we get one of the Trumps on the throne again. It's not going to happen. It's not coming back until we get Donald Trump, his son Jr., or one of the other Trumps to rule this nation with an iron fist again. Damn how I miss those days of Donald Trump again, don't I? I mean, here's the thing, all right? Here's the thing. There's another friend of mine who is under the influence of socialism. And he says, or she says, I don't know. I don't know if it's he or she, but reptilian SP... 2011 says Russiagate tells us which country should be sanctioned. Russia it is. The impeachment have been, the impeachment are used to have Republicans on record for sedition and supporting a dictatorship. So, hogwash comment. Now I'll get to the reply in just a couple of moments. But before I do, Reptilian SP 2011 is yet another victim, another casualty in the great socialist deceive. Millions upon millions of people have been brainwashed by career politicians and the mainstream media and Silicon Valley, i.e., Facebook, Twitter. YouTube, Google. They have been brainwashed into thinking that Satanism is the law of the land, which it isn't. The only law of the land is that of God. And it comes from right up there. But you already know that. You already know that. The laws of the divine and the supernal will never, ever give way to the laws of the infernal. It is that simple. People, we're living in a time and age where people think it's okay to vote for career politicians because they're cool, because they're popular. Well, let me tell you something. Career politicians are not cool, okay? Career politicians are hated 
and they should be berated constantly. You know why they're not berated constantly? Because the career politicians have shielded themselves from all responsibility in an attempt to make us feel afraid of them, when in reality, the career politicians that we were stupid enough to elect should be afraid of us. Now, another good friend of mine from DeviantArt, South Sound Boy, South Sound Boy, not a single concrete evidence was ever provided, which won't stop morons like you to keep trumpeting about it. Now, now I disagree. I disagree with South Sound Boy about Reptilian SP 2011 being a moron. He's he's Reptilian SP 2011 isn't necessarily a moron, but rather a victim of the great socialist deceit. Just another casualty. You get what I'm saying? Reptilian SP 2011 is not a moron, but a victim. Just one of the brainwashed, you see? Being brainwashed 24-7 for four years by clowns like Rachel Maddow obviously crippled your brain and made it useless for rational thinking. Bernie Sanders was Russiagated too. Now, here's the thing. You all know what happened in the 2016 primaries, right? Hillary Clinton rigged the entire primary in her favor and screwed Bernie Sanders out of the delegations needed to secure a Democratic ticket to the presidency. And then, and then, this is the sad part. She went on to rig the entire 2016 presidential campaign in her favor. For months, she spent... Ten times more than what Donald Trump spent on his own campaign. And yet, one comment by Donald Trump sealed her fate. Donald Trump told her, because you'd be in jail. And because of that, Donald Trump became the 45th president of the United States of America because he shut down any argument that Hillary Clinton made with just those few words. Just that one short sentence negated everything that Hillary Clinton never did in her pathetic life. Simple. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Democrats crushed the Green Party across the country not to show on ballots and crush third parties in New York. A textbook example of regime having power and removing choices from people. A textbook example of what a dictator does. Ironically, these people in the United States of America are called Da, 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 da. Democrats. No shit. No shit. No shit. I'm telling you, South Sound Boy really hit the nail on the head on this one, didn't he? He really hit the nail on the head with this one. And you know what? I, I got to... I got to hand it to him. I got to hand it to him. I got to hand it to him. I I would applaud with my other hand, but it's... But I'm using it for my phone, which is in front of my face right now. But you already know that. The point I'm trying to make is... 
Democrats have been the party of crime for many decades. For 23 decades, the only thing the Democrats have ever done is fuck shit up. That's all they do. They fuck shit up. They destroy everything that they touch. Everything that they get their fingers on bursts into flames. Isn't that funny? Every single thing that they touch bursts into flames. That's Democrats in a nutshell, people. That's the Democratic Party. That's what they do. They kill economies. They kill destroying everything that they touch. And then we are expected to foot the freaking bill. What, are you kidding me? Seriously? That's messed up. I don't know about you, but that's messed up. Holy crap. People. Let me let me explain something to you, okay? Before I get to um you haven't you haven't heard me say um in a while, have you? Before I get to Reptilian SP 2011's response. Oh, um oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. We're not we're not going to get to that obviously. But Trump has been acquitted by the Senate in his second impeachment trial. And that's a verdict that underscores the sway that America's 45th president still holds over the Republican Party even after leaving office. Here's here's what they actually said. Here's what they actually said. The first thing Google popped out after believing you, a deviant friend of mine, deviant artist, believing you popped this quote out. Okay? Believing you read this on a German site. Donald Trump has been acquitted by the Senate in a second impeachment trial for his role in the 6th January attack on the U.S. Capitol. Okay, wow. That's a dumb thing to say, but whatever. I picked the source at random, just the first thing Google popped out after I read it on a German site. Of course, it had to be a German site. God forbid. God forbid it had to be a German site. Because we know what happened last century in Germany. Adolf Hitler was in power. The Nazi party completely destroyed everyone and everything in their path. And led to a second world war. It's so funny to me. It really is. It's just... (laughs) You didn't think I'd be referencing Godwin's Law, did you? Well, now I have. I think I do that in just about every video that I do. Notice how I clicked my tongue after after I started that sentence. You know, you get you can replay that you can replay that sentence back a hundred times, and I guarantee you, you could almost know that something was up with me uttering that sentence. I don't know what it was, but somehow I clicked my tongue when I said that. Anyway. Back to the point at hand. He was acquitted by the Senate! For the second time! After he left office. After he left office. After. Not before. Not during. After. That's fucking unconstitutional. Okay? I don't understand why anyone 
A. Would try to impeach a president after leaving office. 2. Would try to impeach a president for what his followers did without the president actually telling them to do this. Not even indirectly or anything like that. C. Would actually make Trump a victim this way because I can't see anything good coming from it. Here's the thing, alright? Why the hell would Democrats want Donald Trump to run for president again in 2024 when they've got a country to destroy in just three and a half years? And they're already doing a damn good job at that, by the way. They're destroying, they're ruining this country. They're fucking destroying this country with every roar that comes out of their mouths. You understand? It's really not that hard. It's it's actually quite simple. It's simple. And I see that we've got 10 minutes left to go on this episode. So I'm going to make the most of my 10 minutes. People. If you think that impeaching a president after the president leaves office is okay in your book, the Constitution disagrees with you. The Constitution freaking degree, disagrees with you. You thought I was going to say degree, didn't you? I, I wish I had a freaking degree. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. The point I'm trying to make is... Here's the thing, all right? Democrats waste your money. They waste your time. They've been doing that for 23 decades. 230 years. 230 times 12. Let's see what that is. So that's the same thing as saying 2300 plus 460 or something like that. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, I posted a forum on why millennials are screwed. I'll, I'll tell you more about it in Freedom No More, but I just thought I'd get this out there to promote my new documentary, which is going to be releasing sometime between the end of February and the end of March. So expect it sometime between then. Americans are stupid. They have it way too easy to the point that they don't understand how life works anymore. And this is coming from a guy whose generation in his country, who the millennials in his country are fighting against the authoritarian government and wanting the monarchy to be put under the Constitution, both of which are sentiments that said person already has. The username is the one with the longest name, by the way. It's really... It's really kind of sad. Segregation... was a practice... Created and made and orchestrated by the Democratic Party. They did that. The Democrats created segregation. They created slavery in this country. Modern slavery. How else would they not have created it? I mean, you tell me. But here's the deal, all right? If you've got about seven more minutes to stick around, I promise you, you will not regret it. Here's the deal. Every single one of you people right now should be flying your flags upside down because our country is in distress. It is in distress and you know it. 
Everybody knows it. We know it. They know it. They, meaning the government, that will never care to let it on, by the way. But the point I'm trying to make is this. If you're going to impeach a man twice based on insufficient, fictional, non-existent evidence that never went anywhere in the first place, then not only are you a special kind of dumb, but your stupidity should be studied for future generations so that they can learn what not to do. I'm serious. I'm I'm not even playing. I'm dead serious. I kid you not. Here's the thing. When you're young, they talk big game about how you as the next generation will create a better world and everything would be better. Then you grow up and realize you aren't allowed to do anything and you can't afford to get everything your parents managed to achieve by the time they were at your age. All of this is proof that everything is going wrong around us, but we're not powerful enough to do anything. In fact, we're powerless. The system isn't going to let us do jack shit with our lives. The very system that promised us the keys to the kingdom shoved it all the way up their own asses to tell us about how unworthy we are, how undeserving we are of this so-called kingdom that quote-unquote exists. And it's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. It is. If you think about it, it's frustrating as hell. You got to think about all the shit that goes on in this country. Antifa, black lives don't matter. Planned Parenthood. Because obviously these hate groups weren't created by the Democratic Party. Then who the hell else would they be created by? I don't know. I mean, you tell me. It's just... It's common sense at this point. You know, you'd have to be stupid to not know that. I could take a five-minute shit in my bathroom without wiping my ass and flush the toilet and all that shit go down the drain Right there and then. But a politician wants to impeach a president twice because he produces claims of voter fraud that don't exist. swear to God, politicians are the dumbest people on the planet. They have to be. They, they are so dumb, they don't have any idea what they're doing. It's laughable, man. It's like this picture says. Being disarmed in the face of a tyrant is a mistake a free people only get to make once. One time. That's it. Just once. You can't make that same mistake twice. You do that, you're screwed. (laughs) Our pretty hit, there's not going to be a second time because when the government takes all our guns, they're going to shoot us all. Fuck it. I mean, I might as well just call the source out for what it really is because there's no other way that I'm going to get that source out there. Right? Right? There's no other way I'm going to get that source out there because what's the point in even even trying to do anything different if you can't be allowed to be yourself? 
The government won't allow us to be ourselves, people. It's a fact. Anyway, I've got a minute to go. And I just want to thank you people very, very much for spending 35 minutes of your time listening to me rant and rave about why democracy needs a complete overhaul, as does the electoral system. Okay? I want to thank you for that. God bless you people for having taken the time to listen to me. It means a lot. I'm forever grateful for any new subscribers that I get. I'm grateful for the four subscribers that I have now. And for the 310 subscribers that I had on my other channel before I got locked out of my Gmail because of my phone and laptop dying. But that's beside the point. The point is, I thank all you people that have watched me past and present and moving forward into the future. And I look forward to what's next. Have a good day. And thank you very much.